Okay, now we're going to start talking about reference angles. So we're going to start with the definition. So the definition of a reference angle is let theta be an angle in standard position. Its reference, its reference angle is the acute angle theta prime formed by the terminal side of theta and the horizontal axis. Okay, so what that means is let's take uh, these pictures as an example here. So now, in, uh, if we have an angle in the first quadrant, it, theta and theta prime are the same, okay? So, because the reference angle is exactly theta. But when you get out, out of the first quadrant, let's say, for example, the second quadrant, then theta prime, theta prime would be this angle here that in the second quadrant. So because it forms, right, an angle right? Just think of a right triangle, right? So this is the reference angle theta prime, okay? Likewise over here, theta, so we're in the third quadrant, so let's draw this here, so we're in the third quadrant, right? So in this case here, the reference angle is going to be this. So theta prime is going to be this one because again think about a right triangle you could form a right triangle with the horizontal axis right there okay and then finally in the fourth quadrant this angle here would be theta prime okay now those are the reference angles that you would create dependent upon which quadrant you're in now, how do we calculate these? Okay, well, let's look at this. Well, we already said that in the first quadrant, it's the same, theta equals theta prime, okay? But here, how would you do this? Well, if you're looking at radians to find um, theta prime, it's just, well, you know this uh, is a, a straight angle, so 180 degrees or pi over, or uh, pi, right? Pi radians. So we could calculate, um, theta prime by either using pi minus theta or 180 degrees minus theta, okay? If you're in the third quadrant, okay, well, how would we do that? Well, it's going to be similar. So in this case here, it would be, uh, if we want to find theta prime, um, it would be uh, theta minus pi, right? Because theta is larger, so we want to find this angle, so we're going to take theta and subtract off pi, which is 180 degrees, which we could write that this way as well. So it would be theta minus 180 degrees, okay? Now here, we want to find theta prime, we're in the fourth quadrant. And one way we could do that is just say we could do um, 2 pi minus theta or 360 degrees minus theta. And that's it. So that's the introduction to reference angles along with the definition. And uh, next we'll do uh, examples and move forward.